We're going to use the GC07 kit to pre-polish the zirconia in the green state here before we center it. We get a really nice finish on this and it makes uh, delivery so much easier. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove the restoration from the block. So we're going to turn this on about 7,000 RPM and we're going to scribe with this lab carbide on either side of this very gently. We're just going to let it do the work. We're not going to push with it. We're just going to actually go through on one side. We're going to turn it to the other side here. It's very important when you're working with these uh, materials that you're wearing your protective eyewear, a mask, and also your gloves. You're going to just gently scribe through this on each side and it's going to fall down to the soft cloth below. Then we're going to move to another lab carbide that's the yellow stripe and we're going to remove the button from it. And on this it's very important that you don't push with it, you actually just let it do the work. So this is the button that we're talking about here and you're going to come in very carefully and support it with your thumb and you're just going to let this go over the surface of the restoration and it's going to remove that extra material that was from the sprue and we're going to blend this all in. This only takes a few seconds to do. Again, I'm not pushing, I'm just letting the carbide work for me. And at this time, we're going to take the same carbide and we're going to remove any manufacturing defects from when it mills. You got a little gouge over here. I'm going to come blend that out. I'm just going to kind of smooth that a little bit. Don't need to do too much. Over here, it looks pretty good. So now we're done with the first two. Believe it or not, if we want to put in any extra anatomy, you want to evaluate how much anatomy. So you have the optional step to go back to the first item, the HM488FX, the 016, and you can actually accentuate your anatomy. On this one, I really like the fine anatomy that's been put in, but if you choose to put more anatomy in, you would then go in and put that in. So that's an optional step. Okay, now we're going to go to the DCA02, the 140. This is a, a medium grit, so we're going to run this down to 4,000 RPM. You don't want to go more than 4,000 on this. And what you're going to do is you're going to go over all the broad surfaces with this, but you're not going to get your mesial or distal proximal contacts. We're going to come in here and it's just going to gently start polishing these areas right here. I'm be careful not to nick my margins. Do my lingual. And I spend probably the most time of the polishing with this one right here because it's doing all the heavy lifting. I'm going to go on my occlusal surface, touch all the areas of the occlusal surface that this will fit, and we're pretty good right there. Now we're going to go to the same grit but we're going to go with the finer point. This is the DCA04, the 040, and this is to get any small areas, including the occlusal surface, that you couldn't get with the wider one. So what I'm going to do on here is just go through my central grooves, my primary and secondary anatomy, and I'm just going to be polishing this very gently. 4,000 RPM, very, very light pressure. It's a great product, and we're done with that one. So at this point, I'm going to take a brush, and I'm just going to clean off any of the extra material on here. This will not contaminate the surface. And then I'm going to go to a finer grit polisher. I'm going to go to the DCA-08, the 140, followed by the DCA-110-040. Between 4,000 and 4,500 RPM. We're going to go through here. And we're going to, again, let this work for us. We're not pressing. We're not pushing hard like you do with other polishing points. You're just going to let it work for you. And you're going to start to get a shine on here. I'm going to do the occlusal surface as well. And on this one, I'm actually going to do my proximal contacts as well. So again, with the blue, you don't do your proximal. With this one, you do. See, this is already taking shape to a very nice luster, and we're not even done yet. Now we're going to go to the fine point on this. Total polishing time, if you're doing this with a patient, you're looking at probably five minutes of your time. We're going to polish our point here. We're going to do our occlusal. We're going to go through all the grooves like we did before with the blue one. We're just going to follow in here and achieve a nice shine, just going through there very gently, and we're done with that one. So then what we decided to do is we decided to use the twist polishers that we use in our silicate kits and also the other zirconia polishing kit. So we're going to go with the blue, which is a medium grit, which is similar to the other one, and we're just going to use the twist 4000 RPM, and we're going to just polish this very gently. We're just going to let it work for us again. We're going to go very slow, and we're just really trying to get that very, very smooth surface there. I'm going to go through my grooves. Very light pressure. With all the twist polishers, you always use very, very light pressure at a low RPM. So I spent a little time with this one. I want to make sure I remove any imperfections that I had previously from the milling process. Again, on this one, you're going to avoid your proximal contacts. You're also careful not to nick your margins, and that looks pretty good. We're going to stop at this point. Okay, this is the 9769F, the 170 fine, but this is going to help to put a nice shine on that. At this point, we're going to go very slow. Again, we're not pushing hard. We're letting the, we're letting the twist do the work for us. 4,000 RPM. Again, do not go more than 4,000 RPM with zirconia on this. And we're moving it, and we're getting a very, very nice shine on this, as you can see. I'm going to do the interproximal, like we talked about earlier. And now I'm going to do my facial, and I'm going to do my occlusal. Carefully going through the grooves. 
So we're almost done. There's two things left. I'm going to use this nice chamois wheel here. We call it a cotton wheel. And we're going to turn that on and go about 4,000 RPM. And on this, we're just going to go and we're going to buff the surface. We're just going to take out anything that's going on with that. Again, this is not necessarily mandatory. This is just something I like to do to have a very nice finish on this. And I think it just helps it to pop. Okay, once we finish that, the last step before we go into the centering oven is we're going to take a brush and we're going to just brush off anything that may be on the surface of the restoration. It's important not to use water, obviously, unless you've wet milled, but if you've dry milled this. And you're also going to go on the internal of this and you're going to be just making sure there's no particulate matter in there. There's no dust from the mill or from the polishing. It's really important. And at this point, we have finished our pre-polishing technique. 